seven years behind schedule, $15 billion in accumulated charges. The largest twin-engine jet ever built remains grounded in certification limbo. Boeing's 777X was supposed to revolutionize long-haul aviation in 2020. Instead, the program has become one of the most delayed aircraft projects in commercial aviation history. Now, 2026 stands as the year that will determine whether this aircraft finally takes flight or faces another costly setback. The Boeing 777X program launched in November 2013 at the Dubai Air Show with 259 orders and commitments worth $95 billion at list prices. Emirates ordered 150 aircraft, Qatar Airways placed orders for 50, and Etihad Airways committed to 25. Lufthansa had already signed on in September 2013 as the launch customer with an order for 34 777 aircraft. Boeing originally targeted entry into service for 2020. The 777X family consists of three variants. The 7779 seats 426 passengers in a typical two-class configuration and has a range of 7,285 nautical miles. The 7778 carries 395 passengers over 8,745 nautical miles. Boeing also developed the 7778F freighter variant with a maximum structural payload of 118 tons. The 779 first flew on January 25, 2020. The aircraft features significant technological advancements over previous 777 models. The composite wing has a span of 235 feet 5 inches when fully extended, with 11-foot folding wingtips that reduce the wingspan to 212 feet 9 inches on the ground. This folding mechanism allows the 777X to fit into existing airport gates designed for the original 777 without requiring infrastructure modifications. The 777X is the first commercial transport aircraft to have wingtip controls in the cockpit. The GE9X engines powering the 777X are the largest commercial jet engines ever built. Each engine has a fan diameter of 134 inches and generates up to 105,000 pounds of thrust for commercial operations. During ground testing in 2017, the GE9X achieved 134,300 pounds of thrust, setting a Guinness World Record. The engine offers 10% lower fuel consumption compared to the GE90-115B that powers current 777 variants. Certification efforts began in September 2019, but halted immediately after an extreme pressurization test caused a door to blow off in a hangar under FAA oversight. Test flights started in January 2020, but were suspended in December due to a flight control system flaw described as an uncommanded pitch event that caused the aircraft's nose to pitch up without pilot input. The program faced additional setbacks in subsequent years. In November 2022, the GE9X engine on one of the four test 777s suffered a technical issue, pausing the test program. In August 2024, a routine inspection following a test flight in Hawaii revealed a structural link between the engine and wing was damaged. Cracks were found in the same component on other aircraft in the test fleet. Boeing grounded all 777X test aircraft while repairs were completed. By late August 2025, five test aircraft had accumulated 4,100 flight hours across extreme conditions, including heat testing in Arizona and cold weather testing in Alaska. Boeing has conducted over 4,000 flight test hours, more than twice the hours of a typical certification program. In October 2025, Boeing announced another delay, pushing first delivery to 2027 and recording a $4.9 billion pre-tax charge. This brought the program's total cost overruns to approximately $15 billion. The program operates in a reach forward loss position, meaning Boeing does not expect to recover its development costs across the first 500 aircraft built and sold. Boeing CEO Kelly Ortberg stated at the Morgan Stanley Laguna Conference in September 2025, 
we're planning to get the certification done towards the end of this year or early next year so we can start the delivery. The FAA has intensified its certification oversight following the 737 MAX crashes. The 777X is currently in Phase 3 of type inspection authorization, the most demanding phase where FAA pilots fly the aircraft to its aerodynamic limits. Recent brake tests in Oklahoma took 63 days, more than double the original forecast of 30 days. Despite the delays, airlines have maintained their orders. Emirates remains the largest 777X customer with 270 aircraft on order after adding 65 more 779s at the November 2025 Dubai Air Show. That order alone was worth $38 billion at list prices. The airline's total order book with Boeing now stands at 315 wide-body aircraft. Boeing confirmed Lufthansa as the launch customer in January 2025. The German carrier has 27 777X aircraft on order. Boeing has already built over 20 airframes that are sitting in storage awaiting certification. These aircraft will require modifications to meet the final certification standard before delivery. As of late 2025, Boeing reports 619 total 777X orders from more than 13 operators. The 777-9 has attracted 521 orders. The 7778F has 63 orders, and the 7778 has 35 orders. The three major Gulf carriers, Emirates, Qatar Airways, and Etihad, account for roughly one-third of all orders. The stakes for 2026 remain high. Aerospace Global News reported that Boeing heads into 2026 with its main focus being certification of the 737 MAX 7 MAX 10 and 779. Boeing CFO Jay Malav stated at the UBS Global Industrials and Transportation Conference in December 2025, for next year, we absolutely expect to grow year over year in cash flow. And I would say that that will result in the low single digits billions in terms of positive free cash flow. The 777X holds advantages over competing aircraft. It offers seating capacity of 400-plus passengers compared to the Airbus A350-1000's approximately 350 to 400 passengers. Boeing claims the 7779 will reduce fuel use and emissions by 20% compared to the aircraft it replaces. The wings generate improved lift-to-drag ratio, enabling up to 20% better fuel efficiency compared to the Boeing 777-300ER. Emirates has invested $4 billion in upgrading its existing Airbus A380 and older Boeing 777 aircraft to bridge the gap until 777X deliveries begin. The airline also expressed interest in a potential 777-10 stretch variant and signed options to convert its latest 779 orders into the 77710 or 778. Boeing acknowledged that the GE9X engine would have sufficient margin to power a stretched variant. Flight tests were temporarily suspended again in November 2025 when a borescope inspection revealed an issue with a GE9X engine. GE Aerospace and Boeing are investigating whether this represents an isolated manufacturing defect or a design flaw. For Boeing, 2026 presents a straightforward mission complete the remaining certification requirements, and avoid any further delays that would push commercial service into 2028 or later. Boeing's stock just surged 2.7% in a single trading session. The catalyst was a $2.7 billion contract from the U.S. Pentagon. This wasn't just another deal. It was a signal that Boeing's defense division remains a critical financial engine, while the company's commercial aircraft business continues to face intense regulatory pressure and production limitations. The contract covers comprehensive support services for Apache helicopters. Boeing will provide maintenance, logistics, and technical assistance to ensure operational readiness for these attack helicopters. The Pentagon's commitment spans multiple years offering Boeing a predictable revenue stream at a time when its commercial aviation segment struggles with safety audits and manufacturing caps imposed by federal regulators. Boeing's stock closed at $178.42 on January 2, 2026, reflecting immediate investor confidence in the defense contract's stabilizing effect. This price movement came after months of volatility driven by concerns over the 737 MAX production rate restrictions and ongoing Federal Aviation Administration oversight. 
The market's response demonstrates that defense contracts provide a financial cushion that offsets commercial aviation risks. The Apache support deal is not an isolated event. Boeing's Defense and Government Services Division generated $25.8 billion in revenue during fiscal year 2023, representing approximately 33% of the company's total revenue. This segment includes military aircraft, satellites, and support services. While commercial airplanes historically drove Boeing's growth, defense contracts now serve as a reliability anchor during periods of commercial turbulence. Boeing CEO Kelly Ortberg acknowledged the importance of defense stability in recent investor communications. Our defense portfolio provides critical capabilities to national security while delivering consistent cash flow, Ortberg stated in the company's third quarter 2024 earnings call. This statement reflects Boeing's strategic pivot toward balancing commercial recovery with defense reliability. The Pentagon contract arrives as Boeing faces continued scrutiny over its 737 MAX production. The FAA limited Boeing to producing 38 MAX aircraft per month following quality control issues discovered in early 2024. These production caps directly impact revenue from Boeing's best-selling commercial jet. The defense contract helps offset this commercial shortfall by securing long-term government funding. Boeing's Apache helicopter program has been operational for decades. The AH-64 Apache entered service with the U.S. Army in 1986 and remains one of the primary attack helicopters in American military operations. The U.S. military operates approximately 800 Apache helicopters across various configurations. This fleet requires ongoing maintenance, parts replacement, and technical upgrades, creating sustained demand for Boeing support services. The contract also has international implications. Apache helicopters are operated by 16 countries worldwide, including the United Kingdom, Israel, and Saudi Arabia. Boeing's support infrastructure for U.S. military Apaches positions the company to capture additional international maintenance contracts. This global footprint expands potential revenue beyond the initial $2.7 billion Pentagon agreement. Financial analysts view Boeing's defense contracts as essential to the company's near-term survival strategy. Credit rating agencies have noted that defense revenue provides stability that commercial aircraft sales cannot currently match. Moody's ratings maintained Boeing's credit outlook based partly on the strength of its defense backlog, which exceeded $60 billion as of September 2024. Boeing's defense division operates separately from its commercial aircraft programs, but both segments share manufacturing facilities and engineering resources. This integrated structure allows Boeing to shift workforce capacity between defense and commercial projects based on demand fluctuations. During periods of commercial production caps, defense contracts absorb skilled labor and maintain operational efficiency. The Apache support contract includes provisions for parts manufacturing, software updates, and pilot training systems. Boeing will coordinate with U.S. Army Aviation and Missile Command to deliver these services. The agreement also allows for contract modifications if additional support requirements emerge during the performance period. Boeing's stock performance in early 2026 reflects investor recognition that defense contracts provide breathing room while commercial aviation recovers. The company's commercial aircraft division faces ongoing challenges, including certification delays for the 777X, supply chain disruptions, and heightened regulatory oversight. Defense contracts offer a counterbalance to these commercial headwinds. The $2.7 billion Apache deal represents approximately 3.5% of Boeing's total defense backlog. While significant, it is one component of a broader defense portfolio that includes F-15 and F-A-18 fighter jets, KC-46 tankers, and space systems. This diversification within defense reduces Boeing's dependence on any single program. Boeing's ability to secure major defense contracts in 2026 demonstrates that the U.S. government maintains confidence in the company's